welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to Back Talk Team. Um, well, we have here. Oh, <laughs> we have here Andrew Janauer and Nikki Janauer to talk about Geared Up for Kids, a bike ride to raise money for brain tumor research. So, Nikki, can you tell me a little bit about the event? Yeah, so the Geared Up for Kids bike ride is run by my aunt, and there are like a lot of choices, a 10-mile ride, 25-mile ride, 50-mile ride, and a 5-kilometer kilom walk run. And you can basically do any of them. You can volunteer. There's a barbecue afterwards. It's just really a day where you can have a great time and raise money to cure brain tumors. Now, where does the money go towards, the money that you raise? So we, we raise the money for a foundation called Curing Kids Cancer, and we take the money that's raised and we invest it in research at the Dana-Farber and elsewhere around the country where researchers are trying to figure out what makes brain tumors grow and how to get them to stop growing. Oh, wow. So, um, Mickey, why is this event so important to you? It's really important to me because my sister and a lot of family friends I know all have brain tumors. One kid I know got blinded by the tumor. A lot of kids, the medication and the tumor itself have like really hurt them. And I think it's really important that we help cure it. And the first step is to raise yeah. money, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when does it take place? This Sunday. And how can we get involved with this? Yes. Um, Geared Up for Kids has a website. I think my dad knows the link. <laughs> Creatively enough, it's called gearedupforkids.org. Oh, it's easy to remember. <laughs> and it's, it's a Kintera website, and you, you can go there to sign up to, for any of the rides or the walk run. Or we also or very, we very much need volunteers. I can also, can I give people my email address? Absolutely. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. People could email me at aj at janower, J-A-N-O-W-E-R dot net. That would work as well. Oh, okay, great. Um, I mean... I've got a question about, I don't know how much you know about the, uh, like the actual science behind how they're um, working to cure, but as a survivor, I'm very um, interested in what is the newest thing that they're, you know, attempting to cure brain tumors? That's a really good question. Is this still working? Yeah, yeah it's working. <laughs> yeah, okay, you go. And am I supposed to be, I'm looking at yeah, you guys? Yeah, look at us. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Gonna make sure I know how it works. Nah, you so, one of the interesting things about cancer in general is for a hundred years people characterized different cancers by looking at them through a microscope. So they'd take a sample of it and they would characterize what kind of tumor it was by what it looked like to, uh, uh, to the naked eye. So that's hundred year old technology and one of the problems is that they know that the drugs that they're giving these kids to try to cure the tumors don't always work and they often cause other problems in the kids. Now what's happened in all kinds of cancers is they've figured out that things that look the same under the microscope are very different at a molecular level. So if you're in high school and you take biology, you know that the molecules, even if it looks the same, they can really be different under the surface. Mm -hmm. And so there's people in, in Boston and elsewhere around the world uh, at, at this place called the Broad Institute, which is affiliated with Harvard and MIT, that have figured out how to, how to figure out what the molecules are actually doing and then they've got all these drugs in their libraries and they're trying to figure out what those drugs do, what molecules they affect. And so in a way it's a little bit like uh, uh, a Google where they've got, they're trying to figure out, okay, for these types of tumors, for these kids, these are the molecules that are active that aren't supposed to be, either because they're making something happen that's not supposed to happen or they're stopping something from happening that's supposed to stop happening in, in, the, in the kid's brain. That's what caused the tumor to grow. And then they match it up against all these different drugs and what the drugs affect. And so what we're trying to do is to figure out for these tumors how to get that right match and then to fund clinical trials to actually go try it in kids to see if we can help save some lives. And so far we're, we're making progress. Oh. <coughs> Sounds great. Well, we have it. <laughs> it's cool. When it works, it's cool. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's a, it's a, we've been doing this for, Samantha was diagnosed seven years ago, so we've been working on this for six years and we, we're still in the early days here of trying to come up with, with better cures. But we've got two clinical trials that are already started and uh, two more on the way. And how long have you been doing this event? Eight years. Oh, eight years. Wow. wow. <laughs> how did your aunt decide to start this? Well, the event run by my aunt was actually just started a couple years ago. We used to belong to a different bike ride with generally the same purpose, but we recently broke off and created our own. 
and she, I think, decided to help partly for my sister and all the people she knew with brain tumors, partly because it's a good cause, and I really think she has the resources and the intelligence to run something like that, so. Oh, yeah, that's always a good thing to have for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign up. I'm gonna, I'll do it. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'll, probably, I'll, pro you. I'll probably walk and run, though, because I'm not much mm -hmm. of a bike rider. I mean, I can ride, but, like, I'm I would be more of a walker. I can't yes. run. <laughs> so what, what type of uh, things do you guys need help with, though, like, on the side? Like, for volunteer yes. positions. So a lot of the volunteer positions will be helping to run the registration tables, because people come and they need to get their numbers and the sign and release, and they get a T-shirt. It's like organizational things. Yep, and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the volunteer coordinators help explain to everybody that morning what to do. There's other people who have to be out on the routes, so if there's a 10-mile bike ride, we need people stationed at different places, to turn here, don't turn here, you know, if there's a hazard, so there you can uh, cheer people on as they ride by and help make sure that they understand where the routes are. And then there's just other kind of setup cleanup for there's a, this big carnival and barbecue and just helping that thing. Bertucci's is our big sponsor. Oh, my so gosh. I love Bertucci's <laughs> rolls. Bertucci's is awesome. Oh, the, the rolls. Yeah. It's all about so the rolls. So they're catering the whole thing. And uh, unlimited they, bread rolls. They do a great <laughs> job, but there's, you know, but we, need, we need to bring volunteers to help organize that. So at the end of it, the idea was we want people to come and have a great day. So they come, and hopefully they'll raise money, and it goes to a good cause, but they'll also feel great that they had a good time. And so we have a kid's carnival at the end, and... That sort of thing. So volunteers can help with that. Well, it definitely sounds like fun. That's such a great idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah, coming you. here yes, and talking you. with us. I wish you all the best with your event next weekend. I'll see if I can thank come. You. It thank sounds you. like so much fun and such a great cause. Well, we have to throw it to a break now.